I want my suitcase. I want my suitcase. I want my suitcase. I just want to know why the do that. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there having a conversation. We're relaxing with people. Why the did you do hey. that? That's what you hey. do. Back up. I'm in a corner. No, he has a problem. A I'm in problem. a corner. He's she already bothering threw a me. drink. He's bothering I'm me. I'm over here. Look at me. You can't put your hands on him. No, I'm not. I didn't put my hands she on him. She did. No, no, no. Do not I throw threw stuff his in head his off his left. I did not hit hey. him. That's not okay. That's not okay. One of the issues with y'all is y'all don't have a shared reality, right? So one thing will happen, and Amber, you will see it one way, and Brock, you will see it an entirely different way. And you're never able to make your way back to that shared reality. And then the day will go on, drinking starts, something else happens, and then you wake up the next day and you think it's over, but it's not over. You just swallowed it. You guys are stuck in a cycle, right? We feel some things. We get embarrassed about some things. We feel ashamed about parts of each other. I don't trust that he's gonna keep my secrets. I don't trust that she's gonna keep mine. And then hits me in front of other men. If he'd done that to you, would that have been okay? No, right. it wouldn't be okay. Why, because why? Because he should not be touching me. Okay, so why are you trying to excuse it and justify it to because him? He's because he's a man? He's disrespecting me. He's disrespecting me in front of people. But it's okay for you to do it to him. He's bringing a monster out of me. He's doing, this is what he's doing. He can't really. bring nothing out of you. You are a grown ass woman. You are responsible for yourself. If he Thank can you, play you like a puppet, then you get the wrong Thank guy. you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Right? Shame is one of the most powerful motivators we have as humans and one of the most powerful motivators we have in a relationship. It's super hard for them both to talk about their shame because they're friends and they don't want to hurt each other's feelings. So they swallow it and the resentment builds and then it builds to the boiling point and they can't control it. And until Brock and Amber are able to talk about the shame they feel for each other, they're always going to be stuck in that cycle of violence. Mm -hmm.